Thanks, Max. So behind me is AU's Hall of Science. This is actually the newest building on campus. It's home to over 13 skills labs and 30 research centers. So this building completed construction in the fall of 2020, so right in time for the COVID pandemic. But after COVID and everyone came back to campus, we were able to start using this building to its full capacity. Our science programs are actually the fastest growing programs on campus. About 14% of our student body is involved in the STEM field. So we have students in this building all day, every day, conducting lab experiments experiments, going to class, and assisting professors, graduate students, and doing their own research as well. One thing to note when you come to AU is that all students, regardless of major, are required to take one natural scientific inquiry class. That's part of our Habits of Mind curriculum. Every student will take a four-credit lab-based class, but that can be anything ranging from general biology or general chemistry to something like the art and science of well-being or the chemistry of cooking, where students learn how to cook and then use those skills to actually cook, learn about chemistry, uh, and then of course, eat the free food that they make. In addition to those core classes, we do have specialized tutoring centers. We do have math and writing tutoring as well as scientific tutoring for our students that are taking science classes. If you're interested in STEM, AU is a great place to come and study that. Our STEM community is really vibrant. We have peer office hours where students come together, they study together and are able to help each other succeed. And they also do social events for fellow STEM students, things like pizza nights or ice cream socials. So it's a really good chance for everybody to get to know each other and develop that close-knit community amongst people taking like majors. We also do have a pre-medical track so students can be part of that track to take classes for the pre-med program. We have about an 85% placement rate for students that are applying to medical school. So we do have really great professors and peers that are able to help each other succeed in that way. Uh, I'd also like to touch a little bit on sustainability at AU. So AU is the first carbon neutral university in the country. We reached that goal in 2018. So two years ahead of our original schedule of 2020. What that means is that we lower our carbon emissions as much as we can and then we offset the rest of them. So a majority of our new buildings on campus, including the Hall of Science, are what we call LEED certified, meaning that they meet federal standards of sustainability. And then we also take part in different offset programs in order to mitigate and get down to that net zero carbon emissions. Next, I'll pass it on over to Ava at the Mary Graydon Center.